So it isn't zero dark 30, but it is uh, way early in the morning. I'm at the Bryce Jordan Center for the Builders Association of Central PA Home Show, which is going to take place uh, March 9th, 10th, and 11th, uh, Friday, tomorrow, the 9th, from 3 to 8 p.m., and then Saturday to 10th from 10 to 7 p.m., and then Sunday the 11th from 10 to 3 p.m. Uh, if you're in Central PA, come on by. Uh, but that's not going to be my uh, BA ride along. I'm going to be interviewing Mike Gerard of Homes to View when the sun comes up. So stay tuned. Mike, my man, what's up? What's up? Nothing much. Uh, excuse my garb, but I was uh, going at Old Dark 30 this morning volunteering for move-in for the uh, home show. Oh, so my good. eyes haven't adjusted to the sunshine yet. Uh, it's good, man. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be nice. They're going to have it just on the, uh, the, the floor this year, not on the concourse. Oh, so right. everybody's going to be together. And, but this is about you. Uh, homes to view, real estate photography. What made you want to get into the biz? Well, we kind of stumbled into it. Um, my wife had a friend whose mom was selling a farm and the home on the farm, actually in Illinois, a few, maybe an hour outside of Chicago. And um, they had listed the property and they weren't getting a lot of uh, hits, you know, a lot of visits. Right. And so my wife's friend sent her pictures that the, the agent had, had put up Right, and they, <laughs> they just weren't they weren't good. They, they were, were generic. They, they what, were, was well, it like a camera phone picture? Yeah, and, exactly. Okay. Um, and so my wife said, I, "I can fix this." And this was even before we invested money into the different, you know, programs that we can do to enhance and, and alter and fix the, the photos now. Right. Um, but she was able to just find some stuff online and then go in and fix some photographs. And we started talking about it. We'd been talking for a couple of years about doing something together and um, taking her creative side, because you know, I'm, I'm married to Martha Stewart. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. she is definitely Martha yeah. Stewart's yeah. She can do spawned. anything, very creative. <laughs> and, uh, and, and with my sales and, and my business background, we were trying to find something. And we started to look around State College and we realized that um, nobody was really doing professional photography in the area. There are some professional photographers that also do real estate, but their primary focus isn't just on real, real estate. estate photography. And so, and we didn't invent the idea. I mean, if you go across America, um, most realtors are using professional photographers. Just uh, with State College, everything seems to come here kind of late. Like, like, yeah, if you right. think about fashion, music, food, you know, <laughs> everything always gets here like right. three to five. So even though the rest of the country is almost doing it. exclusively using professional photography, um, not everybody, you know, a lot of the agents around here are still using their camera phones. Um, so we saw a niche and um, we decided to, you know, go for it. So what separates you from the camera phone generic you talk you hit on a little bit but some of the things that you can do with the software what does homes to view offer that's value added and makes the house more sellable yeah the, the, I mean it starts with the equipment and actually having a wide-angle lens and different lenses for different you know situations inside outside but inside outside time of day lighting everything um, you know so the, that's a big thing the fact that we actually bring um, our own lighting with us um, but in addition to photography we also have a videographer on our team and we have a drone pilot on our team drones are huge now yeah so we can also do virtual tours and videos um, and we can also do drone photos and videos uh, you know so that's another thing that kind of separates us from some of the other guys that are out there doing what we do right and then you can go in there and play with the, even after the pictures taken you can go in there and play with the lighting yep and yep it's called post processing post processing yes <laughs> I, lingo yeah man. well I'll call as the kids used to say putting a little yeast into it to make it rise <laughs> you can use that I don't have copyrights on it uh, and and how are you finding your business is it word of mouth is it the internet 
Uh, we're making sales calls. We're going out and meeting folks um, on Sundays at open houses. We've done a, a bunch of direct mail uh, and then just our Facebook ads, our Twitter, um, you know, that, that kind of thing. And, and then a, a lot of, most of the businesses actually come from word of mouth and, and repeat business in the community. A lot of, once the, the agents use us, they tend to use us again and again. And, and what, tell me what the best part of the the business is for you. What what well, makes you jump out of bed in the morning? Yeah, I mean, I'm a people person. Um, and it's also um, very re rewarding to help um, agents and the homeowners when they're selling um, actually every, the goal for everybody is when they sell their house number one to sell their house but number two either get what they're asking for or maybe more. better right yeah so it is an investment um, but you know when you're gonna sell your house you're probably gonna paint your front door fix your mailbox put some mulch down you're gonna do things to right. make the place look you gotta better. stage it right. right so if you're selling a house for two hundred thousand three hundred thousand hundred thousand doesn't matter um, and your house languishes on the market for three months and you have to drop it ten thousand dollars what was a hundred fifty or two hundred dollars for have for having professional real estate photography so that you get more people interested to no come question look at your home you know so it's an investment on your biggest investment in your life yeah, it's, your a, it's a small investment for a huge return is, exactly. is, is, is yes. what it seems to me yeah. anyway and, and do you get a lot of for sale by owners uh, we, we haven't had a whole lot. Um, we're mostly working with the realtors. A lot of the for sale by owners are trying to save every penny, which in my view is a big mistake. You know, that, that's right. all the more reason why. Um, we just haven't really, really figured out how to reach those people because for me, the, the only way to find out for sale by owner is when they've already sold it, right? Yeah. So. Well, yeah, one of the things that I always find, and not, not to say that you shouldn't try to sell it yourself, but when someone sees a for sale by owner, they automatically think, oh, they're not paying a commission so I can get a, a, a more of a bargain and, and oftentimes end up selling it for you know a much lower sale price than they would have if they had the realtor and exactly. it, it, and it, it balances itself yeah, it, out it, it's the exact opposite of what their intent was they were right. trying to, 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 to sell it and right. save that commission um, but it, my opinion is let the professionals do what the professionals yeah. do right. which comes back to me let us, <laughs> we're the professionals let us right. do what we do yeah. so you sell houses sell houses we take photos we, let you, us we'll take help the photos. you sell your house yeah. and and the thing is I'll if it, in this area anyway if it's in a 250 to 350 maybe it's not as much of a risk to sell it yourself because it's such a hot market and there's low inventory but you also want the professionals to be the buffer too between yourself and and whoever's going to buy your house so exactly. yeah yeah like again i'm not saying don't but it does uh, it does make it easier if you do hire the professionals and it is the largest pretty much the largest investment people make right um so let's get to the family now when we met you had five little munchkins and i tell you this all the time i couldn't have been more impressed i come to your house for dinner there's five of them they're like your little elves they clear the table after we're done without you asking them to you and stephanie and then they wash the dishes without you having to ask them to and i just thought wow i should have film on this so now those little munchkins have much you're a pet you're a grandpa yeah what's that tell me about that uh, being a grandfather I have a, he'll be three in about two weeks. Um, wow. It's much more rewarding than being a parent. Uh, <laughs> you're right. My kids were very well behaved. I like to say I cultivated my own workforce. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give Stephanie credit for that. I'm going to give Steph credit for that, saying that she was the one cracking the whip and, <laughs> and making sure that they were doing what they're yeah. supposed to be doing. But, yeah, so with the, as a grandfather, you, you, you get to just send them away once they're, you're tired of them. Yeah, well, we're, and you right spoil on, them. we're right on the edge of State College in Bullsburg. And uh, my grandson um, and my daughter, they, they live uh, right in Shingletown. So we're two minutes away. Now, the other kids, I've got kids in Oregon, New York, um, Texas. And then uh, my, my youngest uh, just graduated from Penn State, and he works now at IUP. So he's only about an hour and a half, two hours away. I'm just going to well up. Our little Keegan is a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, 
Now tell me about the the, the toughest part of the, of your job uh, in real estate photography. What what is kind of a grind or what uh, gives you like anxiety? I, BA. Nothing. You're I, so laid back. I, I, yeah, you're I, way too I cool. Don't have <laughs> I, I, I had five kids and three of them were girls. That was the anxiety. Bam. Yeah. Uh, that says it all. Probably the toughest part is just getting the people to try us. Because right. once they try us and they see the service and especially the communication, um, my, my wife is really, really particular. Um, I, I can tell you, we, we did a house, um, it, it was a remodel job and it was almost in Huntington. And when she got home and started doing the post processing, for the photos, she realized she was so concerned in the one. Um, it was a, a really tiny bathroom. Okay. Uh, you know, well, how powder, it would a powder room. Look. Right. And trying to get the photo so that the mirror wouldn't catch, and the and was really bright outside, and the, the light coming in, and she forgot to put the seat down on the toilet. She when she went back and did the, she realized what she'd done. She drove all the way back to Huntington County to get the, right one. To get the picture right, to put the seat down. So, right. I mean, she, she's a, a perfectionist. Detail, Martha Stewart. Yeah. And you know what? That's customer service right there. Yeah. And those people yeah. will appreciate it. You know, an, another thing that people don't realize that what we do is if you're, we, we, we will go back free of charge uh, from the initial job for a photo shoot for seasonal changes. So, for example, at my house, I have these beautiful, big, tall, like eight foot sunflower right. plants that, that only blossom like in the end of July. Um, but it's really, really awesome look to my house. But you might have a, a tree that only flowers, or if we take our the pictures right now when everything is sort of brown right. and not, not in bloom, um, if your house is still on the market in a few weeks or months and everything goes to bloom and turns green, we will come out and reshoot that at no charge. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's so, awesome. Because sometimes situations change and we can get a better look for you. All right. So uh, this is the point where if someone needs your services uh, or wants to get in contact with you, uh, how do they get in contact with you? Uh, the best thing to do is just go to our website, Homes, H-O-M-E-S, the number two, V-U, homes to view com and it has all our contact information. You can reach either me or Stephanie. Um, Give me some, I need two cell phones, yours and Steph's cell phone. It, or do you, you prefer not to use a cell If you just go right through the website, it has okay. the cell phones right on there, that way people won't forget. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yep. Now, well, I'm also gonna put it up. I'm gonna post it so that uh, oh, people can, uh, you know, still, still shot it and, and uh, get in contact with you. But I appreciate you uh, giving us a little tutorial on real estate photography and best of luck to you. Obviously, you can always reach out to me if you need any help. Thanks, brother. You're the man. Take right. care. Good luck. See ya.